Hi everyone, it's Michelle at the Barrington branch of the Western Counties Regional Library and I'm here today with a craft for um, kids and teens. Actually adults can do it too if you really like. Um, we are providing kits while supplies last for this. I'm going to show you how to make it. The instructions are in the kit as well, but I will show you here how to make it and also if you have the supplies and want to do something like this on your own and don't pick up the kit, you're welcome to do that as well. As always, we love to see what you create from the ideas that we give you, so please do share your photos of your finished creations with us on Facebook. So today we are making, it's funny I said about photos, today we're making a photo holder. Um, so maybe you'll put a photo of your photo holder. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I have a picture that I took at the Kayak Brook while we were traveling about Barrington a little bit. And so you might have a special summer picture from something that you did that you want to showcase as well. And this is just an ordinary stone that I have painted. And then we put the wire around it and I will show you how to do that. It would also make a really nice placeholder. Maybe if you have a special occasion coming up or something like that, you put everybody's names on your placeholder and this would be a really good way to decorate your table with people's names. So I just have a very ordinary rock here. You could use one that's not as smooth. This is a smooth one because I am going to paint it today. If you had a special rock and you didn't want to actually paint it, you could do that as well. I forgot to get my paintbrush. There we are. So you just can paint your rock. It might take a couple of coats to get it so that it is not showing through the paint. Um, our, the rocks in the kits are pre-treated with either Mod Podge or some I guess it's called gesso, gesso, gesso. Um, so they're they're pre-treated to make it a little bit easier for coverage. But even then, you can see here that my rock isn't completely covered. So if I wanted to completely cover that up, I probably would just let it dry and do a second coat. But for today, I won't do that. I am going to pause it for a second so that it will dry before we do the next step. Um, you can also, to speed things up, if you have a hair dryer, you can use that to help dry the paint on your rock a little quicker. So I'm just going to pause the recording for a second while mine dries. Remember to, if you need some assistance with the hair dryer, to get assistance with that. All right, so I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, I'm back. My rock is still just a little bit wet. I'd probably prefer to let it dry a bit more, but I do have to do some other library work today. So uh, I'm going to just show you the next thing I did. I just did some little, I'll bring this over for a second, some little dots. And dots on your rock can look really, really nice. And the good thing about them is all you need is the end of your paintbrush. So I'm just going to dip my paintbrush in here. Now I would normally, I'm just going to take this here, take something, a little um, paper plate or a piece of paper or something, and maybe even just practice a couple of dots. And it also will let me know, do I have enough paint or do I need more paint? To get the look I want or do I have too much paint that I need to wipe some off and then I can just dot and you can put just polka dots all around or you can kind of let's see here group them together a little bit that's gonna be too much I think there we go. We'll make like little flowers. And again, I would practice a little bit on a paper plate 
or something like that just to get an idea for how your dots might look. So there, I'll just bring that a little closer and you can see I made kind of almost like, like a little daisy with just some dots together. And you can make something really nice with that. You can use a few, if you have different colors, you'll probably have three colors in your kit, a white and two other colors. So you can be some creative with that. Mixing white with some of the colors will make different shades as well. And you can see that depending on how much paint is on the end of my brush results in different size dots. So you're going to want to experiment with that and see what you come up with. But it's as simple as that to decorate your rock. And it looks really nice when it's all finished. Nice little tip and trick there. I think I will do this next part on the main camera. So I actually have, I'm not going to wait for this rock to dry. I'm going to use this rock. And again, like I said, if you don't want to paint it because maybe you just think that looks so cool the way it is and you don't want to paint over it, you can do this with an ordinary rock as well. But rock painting is so fun. So that's why we did that. So what you need is some wire. And this is, I'm going to just check here, this is 22, 22 gauge wire. Um, so it's reasonably sturdy. Oops, I whacked my picture here. Sturdy enough to um, hold its shape and to stand up and hold your picture. Put that back there again. Um, but it also can be manipulated with just your hands because we couldn't include um, needle nose pliers or anything like that in your kit and this is a it's almost three feet or 90 centimeters so almost three rulers worth of 22 gauge wire um, and it can be mini like I said can be do I did this completely with my I'm gonna just take that picture off while I'm picking it up I did this one completely with my hand without using any pliers or anything like that and it worked out just fine um, you get a little tighter um, turns if you do use needle nose pliers, but if you don't have them, you don't need them. And I am going to wrap this kind of around my thumb very loosely just to get a circular shape. You could also use a marker or something like that, something reasonably wide um, if you have it handy. And so I'm just going to. I'm going to wrap it around three or four times to get a few, few loops like that. And that's what will hold your picture or your name card, or your place card, if that's what you're doing. And then all you have to do is decide how long, how high you want it to hang up in the air. I'm going to say about there. And you're just going to keep this part reasonably straight so that it's up in the air. And then I think I will switch camera again here so you can just see. I'm going to, I want this kind of centered, so I'm going to bring the part that I wanted straight over towards the center of my rock. And then I'm going to wrap the other end of the wire over top of that to kind of keep it steady. And then from there, you can just wrap your wire pretty much any way you want um, until you get a steady thing and you can make a little bit of a decoration with the, your with where you place the wire and then I will slide it underneath one of these on the bottom to keep that in place actually I might do two just for extra stability oops I guess I took that out of camera frame sorry about that I'm just sliding the loose end underneath these and then I'm going to tighten that up as much as I can under here and twist it around Bring that a little closer so you can see I just twisted that up underneath 
And then I'll straighten this and arrange it how I would like it to be. There we go. Oops. There. Perfect. And you heard me say oops. Oopses are okay because we can fix them. <laughs> this is this project is reasonably easy to adjust as you go. <laughs> so there you are, and you can put your picture right inside the loops. Oh. I'm a little there we go. And you, you can tighten it a little bit, almost like a paper clip, if you want. My paper's a little top heavy. <laughs> and it's fallen so many times. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, so you can tighten your wire up around yours. Um, it might be better on printed on something a little sturdier. Maybe actually print a picture off or a little bit of cardstock or something instead of the paper. But they look really nice, they look really cute. They look really cute on a dresser or um, a shelf or like I said on your table something like that you can showcase your fancy pictures from the summer uh, maybe some pictures of your friends or um, decorate a table for a special occasion so have some fun with it and please do share your creations with us because we love to see your ideas too thanks a lot we'll see you next time